Okay, I was making this part the other day, and um, what, it, what it is, it's a Morse taper 2 with a 1 inch plug on the end of it. And I made it between centres so that I could remove it from the lathe and do a test fit and then pop it back in the lathe, stick it back between centres and in theory it should everything should stay concentric. But when I put it back in the lathe I noticed it was had a slight wobble to it. Um, after I put a dial test indicator on the live centre I noticed that the live centre on the 60 degree part of it had worn um, 17 hundredths of a millimetre. Um, so effectively when you pop that back in the lathe, if you were unfortunate enough to put it in 180 degrees to where it was previously, effectively the run out of, of 17 hundredths could be doubled to 34 hundredths which is just over a, a third of a millimetre. So you could in theory get a third of a millimetre wobble on it. This particular centre that that's, that's got this run out on it, um, it's quite a good quality centre obviously it's just got warm on the end so what I'm going to try and do now is try to grind the end of it back to 60 degrees well it's still at, it's already at 60 degrees but just to take these 17 hundredths of a millimeter run out of it and I'm going to do that on a profile grinder <coughs> okay I've got everything set up on the grinding machine what I'm going to try and do is spin the center around while I'm grinding it so that everything remains concentric with the bearings in the centre itself. Um, I've got everything set up on this T-slotted table here and I'm going to use this mortar with a pulley system to turn the centre around. Um, this whole table here floats on linear bearings. Um, it's got a y-axis and, and an x-axis and I've put a flat template on this side with a pin there so that it can slide along the flat template, grinding the 60 degree point as it's spinning. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a dial test indicator on the centre now and show you how, while it's spinning round how much run out it's got. Um, I've got it rigged up through an inverter so I can slow the motor right down so that you can see a little bit better. I'm just going to give you a little bit more of a close up of the setup that I've got. I've got the centre mounted in a vice, the vice is clamped down here and one over the top of the centre here. Obviously two pulleys in the motor. I've got a dial test indicator now fixed to the end of the uh, centre so I can show you the run out. Fraction under 17 hundredths. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to speed, speed the motor up and actually zoom in so you can actually see the movement. That's what I'm trying to get rid of. Okay, I've dressed the wheel and I'm going to be driving the centre in the opposite direction to the grinding wheel uh, and I'm going to increment the feed by adjusting the pin um, just a tiny little bit at a time. So I'll just move that out of the way and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit.
Okay, I've finished grinding it now. Um, I've mounted a dial test indicator on so that I can show you that it's taken all the run out out. So I'll just start the motor up. I don't think you'd get it much better than that. I've got a 60 degree thread gauge just to check the angle on the end of the centre. I'm happy with that.